Now to North Korea and evidence it may be building new long-range missiles. This just a week after it appeared it was dismantling a missile engine test site. This latest development seemingly at odds with President Trump's claim that North Korea is, quote, no longer a nuclear threat. Our chief global affairs correspondent, Martha Raditz, has the latest. She's there in Washington for us. Good morning, Martha. Good morning, Robin. U.S. spy agencies this morning closely examining satellite images that appear to back up suspicions that North Korea cannot be trusted. This morning, new evidence that the threat from North Korea is not over. Despite promises from Kim Jong-un at the June summit, he would denuclearize his nation. These new satellite images, according to The Washington Post, showing construction of one or possibly two liquid-fueled ICBMs at a facility on the outskirts of Pyongyang. The same facility where North Korea built its first intercontinental ballistic missile, believed capable of reaching as far as Washington, D.C. And that is not all. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo confirming just days ago the North Koreans are still producing the material needed to create nuclear warheads. North Korea continues to produce fissile material, nuclear bomb material. Is that correct? Uh, Senator, I'm trying to make sure I, I stay on the correct. Uh, I, yes, that's correct. Yeah. Just trying to make sure I don't cross into classified information. I, I'm not trying to hesitate. Yes, they continue to produce vessel material. After his summit with Kim Jong-un in June, Trump declared there is no longer a nuclear threat from North Korea. And on Monday, boasting of progress much. with the regime. And we met, as you know, with Chairman Kim, and it, uh, you haven't had a missile fired off in nine months. We got our prisoners back. So many things have happened so positive. But now, experts warning there are clear signs of deception on the part of North Korea. And while there have been signs that the North Koreans are dismantling an engine test stand, experts say it is one that is not really needed to continue production and maybe just for show. And, Amy, there are no inspectors on the ground to verify anything. Ah, that is an important note indeed. Martha Raditz, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.